Producer Wise, who's on the upcoming album, we spent a lot of time with Pharrell. Uh, we spent some, some awesome time with Organized Noise. We spent a lot of time with uh, with Knots. Uh, we spent some some quality time with Ryan Leslie. Um, you know, we spent some time with Swiss Beats, and uh, we're going to continue to spend uh, spend some time with a lot of producers that are just down for the you know the cause, down to just have some fun, down to uh, you know make music, just to make music, you know, dope, dope, dope music instead of just trying to like you know cash in on a check because, you know, right now it's just. It's all about making something that's gonna shine through because right now, uh, you know, part of my language, it's, it's a shit storm, and I'm not really trying to throw shit in a shit storm. So, uh, you know, just letting it happen, put out some some good music. Uh, we worked with the 1500s who um, produced Grind, uh, Get Ready It's a New Day, which is the first tune that kind of uh, lets people know where I am right now, and and also kind of a mood of a lot of people I feel at the same time. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, we're just gonna continue to branch out. Cannon's gonna jump back on it. Orin Yoel. Uh, just continue to make people uh, continue to make music with people who you know believe in the same things I do. Uh, Artist-wise, you know it's been weird for me. Uh, I've really been con kind of concentrating on myself and what I'm trying to accomplish. And uh, you know we've we've uh, we've done some joints. You know Cardinal Fischel, uh, uh, the game jumped on a record and stuff like that. Uh, but as of right now, we you know I collaborated with Pharrell when we were making music together, and same thing with Ryan Leslie because uh, they're both artists and producers. And uh, so we've d we've done records together, but for the most part, just trying to figure out my own stuff, and then you know where people you know fit, and we think that somebody can really help a record and uh, help a message, then we'll get them involved. But right now, it's all kind of you know, for lack of better words, it's a secret. Working with Pharrell, how was that? Oh, uh, work. He's the man. He's like, he really is. He really is a genius, and uh, you can tell he's he's where he is for a reason. Uh, and I think what's extremely special about Pharrell that he can do that uh, I've been around. Um, only for about you know a year and a half, two years now, uh, seeing how he can harness an idea and harness just like well, we're sitting here having a conversation and he'll take you know three keywords of that and turn it into a hit record. It's really unreal. I, I, I haven't been around many people who can harness energy and harness ideas and turn it into mu the musical language like he can. He's a special guy, great energy, just good, good dude and you know doing it for the right reasons so I've got nothing but love for, for Chad, Pharrell, all those guys over there holding it down for for years upon years. So we did do a really cool record called Cheat So Bad which is always interesting because of the Brett Favre stuff that's going on and I saw some cool stuff on CNN that was talking about how our, our human beings uh, made to be uh, you know made to be infidels and uh, and cheat on their on their significant others and it's interesting because at the end of the day you know we are just we are just hardwired to kind of just eat and you know reproduce so uh, that record cheat so bad is super fun kind of like hoedown ish and, and uh, you know pun intended so uh, it, we just we just trying to have some fun so Pharrell and I did a couple joints uh, but cheat so bad is the one that I, I, I'm, I'm willing to say is, is pretty much definitely going to be out there